<laughs> hey guys, welcome to a live reaction for Dino Ace Act 2, Chapter 56. Yeah, 56. So last week we had, um, you know, I reviewed two chapters and it was basically, you know, not much happened. Not, not much happened in those games and um, we had Acida, you know, come on for Kuki and he was pitching and everyone started cheering for him. Now, I don't mind that people are cheering for him rather than Kuki because he didn't ask, you know, he didn't turn around and say, hey, you know, balls are going to come flying like he's Saomura. The team decided they're going to catch for him. It's different, which is why I don't mind with Asada. Um, and then we had the beast, Okamura, wolf, the wolf, just, you know, take control, captain material. And um, that was really cool to see. So this week, not sure what we're going to see. I know at the end that they were talking about, you know, if they can not concede any runs, they might be able to make a comeback. But as cool as this is, I don't know how long I want to stay in this match. Um, we have, we've seen a bit of the second year battles, but not that much. Like we haven't seen any of their real personalities to have, sort of build a connection with them, to be like, yeah, I want them in the team. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Attack, we'll stop them now, go after that. Okay, okay. After the field lineup switch, the mood short change, yeah. Okamura changing the mood of the game. Things are getting interesting. They can manage not to lose it runs here. The game flow may change, that is true. <laughs> we got a flashback of um, Okamura. I will make it into the first string without fail. Look at these two together. Yes, I love this. Let me see more of them two together. Like I thought, he's really passionate deep down after all. Yeah! Okamura! Yeah, my boy. Yes. Samura is giving him that praise. All right, cool. Infield is clo defending that close to the plate. It's gonna be difficult for the runner to take off on them. Also good to prevent the squeeze play, so no, no real bunt play coming through. The outfielders didn't move though, I guess they're sure of their ability to throw to the play. Okay, we'll see how their opponents as their senpais will try to score in this situation. Now, I don't know what I want to happen. Do I want Asada to um, do well, or do I want the second years to come through to prove that they can be good batters and good additions to the team? I'm not sure. I guess I want Okamura to do well. Okay, since they came close to play, it means they're fully prepared to face the music, okay? All right, then try and stop me if you can. Yeah, that's what I need. I need more dialogue from the, the second string, second years. I said that. Nervous. <laughs> I feel as reliable enough though. Problem is me. Will I be able to throw like I'm expected or not? Look at Koshu, he's just so beast. That one eye, like, yo, I got this. I got this. I and I, I want to live up to Okamurakan's expectations. I want to throw my best pitch into his mitt. Okay. His fingers slipped. Why did the ball stop? That's not a change up, right? That's not a change up, I hope. Okay, but it's a ball, okay, I thought that was a strike, okay, everyone's shocked that it was a ball, like wait, what was that, was that a change up, because the ball stops, the ball stops, so what, what does that mean, does that change up, hmm, I'm not 100% sure, I hope he didn't just throw an accidental change up, because everyone looked shocked, which is weird, even though it was a ball, what was that just now? A curveball? But that drop. A drop curveball with a pronounced vertical drop. That's a rarity even for right handed pitchers. It's because he's so tall, right? To top it off, it breaks following a trajectory characteristic of South poor pitchers only. As a pitcher, you can ask for a better pitch uniqueness than that. Pitching uniqueness than that. But it was an accident, right? Did his hand slip or. Because he was shocked as well. 
Was it the course that I messed up or the height? Okay, he, he's not sure of what he's just done. <laughs> I just wonder if he even realizes what kind of peculiar strength he possesses. The batter certainly does and getting cold feet when he faced that pitch. Give me another curveball like that, only this time into the zone. I don't think he can um, do it again. He asked for the same pitch, doesn't mean it wasn't too bad. Okay. Is he going to do it again? It stops! Okay, I guess the stop isn't a change up, it's just a, the drop. That must be when the ball drops. Strike. Wow, wait, so this guy can do that on demand? <laughs> okay, okay. So is that just his natural picture? Okay, he made up a class and failed to make contact. Okay, interesting. And the pitch has enough control in place to make it work. Yo, the height! Nice. This pitch can be used as an off speed pitch. The next one will be to the outside. Who's saying this? Is this Koshu or Asada saying? A fastball. Okay, hits it straight to the fielder. Out. Okay, straight into third baseman's hands. Two outs with third base runner. Un uh, unable to run. Nice pitch, just had two outs, two outs, yo! <laughs> to the batter, a fastball must look quite a bit faster when it's thrown right after a curveball. He was able to throw it to the corner of the zone with precision. So, even when hit, the ball flew to a spot. Easy for the fielders to handle. Yo, 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 yo. This guy's getting hype, like. This guy's getting hype. I don't know what to, what to take of it. I don't know what to think. Is this good? Do we need another pitcher? Do we need another pitcher? I guess when Kyle Kermit leaves, yes. We need a replacement for him, and I said that would be good for that, I guess. He reminds me of that guy from um, Ice Shield 21, who is like an option. Like, they don't use him all the time, but he's a good option because people don't expect him. Or more, I would have, we'll have him stopped. Okay. The out they've just taken now has a lot of weight. Gave the first years a chance to build the momentum. On the other hand, though, the now the upperclassmen will want to kill the excitement <laughs> and take them down a peg. Okay. With a well-timed mood spoiling Homer, no doubt. Can they do it? Still have written on third. Can only relax after we've taken one more out. Okay, we got his name, look. <laughs> we got his name. We got his name, look. It means he, he can't be going out. Surely not. We got his name. Ishikawa Makoto. Okay. Let's go and pitch again. Strike. Without much of a drop, it throws the hitter's instinct. He throws off the hitter's instinct because he has to hit it at a single point as the ball sinks on a downward arc instead of flying in a straight line. Yeah. Yeah, that could be annoying. If you ever swung a baseball bat, when it comes straight at you, you can sort of get used to that. But if you're used to that, and then it just suddenly drops to a low point, you have to change your whole, like, stance. Okay, I see this pitching again. Okay, is that an out? Goes to, um, I forgot his name, the guy, other guy with the glasses, Cole Shoe's friend. Ooh, the first year they actually stopped them. A grounder to third. It's now three outs. Yo, okay, okay. They didn't let the upperclassmen score in the third. Yo, this guy interests me though. This guy, the guy that looks like Tetsu. I wanna see what he's got again. Nice pitch. Yo, Okamura, you beast. <sighs> Battery doing work. He's too real thin and doesn't have speed, but that drop isn't bad. He played softball in middle school, although it seems he was only a relief pitcher for all of the year, three years on his team. Wahaha, 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 Salmura, wahaha, yeah! I haven't really paid notice to Salmura this game. I know he's just in the background. Did you see it, Kurumochi Senpai? Shut up. <laughs> I was watching right next to you. I do like Kurumochi's attitude, I just wish he'd improve on the pitch so I could like him more. Because he's a cool character, I just I hate him on the pitch. Asada did it, he lost no runs. He looks like a wimp, but he's mustered enough assertiveness to be confident with his ball handling. Well, he's a guy who decided to come to a school like Sado to play baseball. That is true, because Sado, when they would have come, yeah, 
last year, Seda weren't bad. They're a very good team. So to come to Seda, we and Seda have always been known for having, you know, the um, the relay pitchers, lots of good pitchers. So yeah, cool. Agreed. I guess it means he's a full-fledged pitcher with everything that entails. Agreed. Agreed. Summer agrees. Summer sees this guy as okay, cool guy. I don't see. I don't think he sees him as a threat though. Just as another pitcher to have, which is cool. This is a this is a chance to change the game flow that our pitcher won for us. Now it's our turn to show what we're made of. Yo, is this cut? Is this oh? <laughs> oh, Kamura just telling the team. Look, first let's get on base. Like, first let's get on base and shatter their defenses. This must be Okamura speaking. He's the captain. I don't care. Okamura captain. Wolf boy captain. What was the hashtag I used last game? I don't remember. Last chapter. I'm gonna put on screen, but that. He has to be the captain. He has to be the captain. And that's the chapter. He's rallying the forces. He's leading the team. He's showing captain traits. Even freaking the coach is shocked at what's going on. He had a shocked face at the, the pitch, true. But when he saw the battery at the end of the, the um, inning, he was thinking, oh, okay, okay. That was a good chapter. That was a good chapter, Dragon Race. Um, good development for Asada. I guess we found our new Kawakami. I, I don't think he'll be a threat to Furia and Salmura. They're, they're too far ahead. But it's cool to have another different type of picture. Because you know, Kawakami had that weird, that low, whatever the hell he pitched. But now we've got another picture who can do weird pitches, which is good. Okamura, you know, being a good catcher and then leading the team at the end, saying, look, it's time to, you know, try and reclaim this game. It looks like we're going to stay in this inter, inter, inter school, whatever, inter squad game for, it seems like a few more chapters, maybe like five more chapters, based on the way it's going, unless they get smashed next innings, I don't know. Uh, I still want to see more from the second year batters. Um, I feel like we haven't seen an, an everything from them, because... I just think there's no way none of them are going to get put into the first string team, so we'll see. So yeah, that was my live reaction. Comment what you thought, I know there's not much to comment this week on the chapter. To be honest, not much happened. Um, we stayed in the same inning uh, as last week, so not much happened. But yeah, comment what you thought. If you did like the reaction, please rate the video. And subscribe if you haven't already for more Dino Ace related stuff. more Dino Ace related stuff. Um, I will be I will be doing a discussion video most likely next week for Dino Ace on the current squad. Most likely it will be the topic and my thoughts on everything and who I think maybe would get into the actual first string. So yeah, look out for that as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.